My name is Athena Mariah. I'm from California and I make slow art. Since I'm obsessed with the show, The Great Pottery Throwdown, in this series, I will try some of the same challenges and see if I would make the cut to be top potter. This is my Great Pottery Slowdown. Today, I will be taking the challenge from season one, episode one. Using an earthenware clay, I must create five bowls thrown on the wheel, and they have to fit inside of each other. For my five stackable bowls, I will use the white slip as a background color to my colorful design. Each bowl will be a different color with the same design pattern. I have two and a half hours to complete this part. Two hours and 30 minutes, go. With the first okay. part of the challenge, throwing on the wheel, of course, everything begins with centering your clay and having the pressure of having to center five bowls over. consecutively in a time frame adds a lot of pressure. This one's going in the middle. When I'm not that great at centering clay in the first place. <laughs> oh no, I've got like a bubble or something. Oh no. Okay, an hour and 20 minutes and I have zero, zero. I have zero bowls. Ultimately, I was able to finish the challenge. So I would say it was a, su a success. Well, I've got a bowl. It's a wobbly bowl, but I've got a bowl. I mean, my whole goal was just to get it finished in the time allotted and having five bowls that fit into each other. All right, I got two done. Were Woo! they perfect? No, but I was able to successfully make five bowls. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think we've got a ball. I did it. Yay. <laughs> With one minute left, I'm done. The bowls have dried overnight and are now leather hard. I now have one hour and 25 minutes to turn and trim my bowls and decorate them with a white slip. On your mark. Get set, go. And for as difficult throwing on the wheel is for me, I do find that trimming is a little bit easier for me. And I'm hoping that by trimming the bowl, it will forgive some of the wobbly mess that I made while I was throwing it. Now my bigger bowl was tapered a little bit more. So I'm gonna see if I could kind of trim the bottom of the rest to kind of match that taper. Okay, got 31 minutes left and this is my final, final little bowl. <sighs> okay, 23 minutes exactly left. <laughs> now I'm going to get my pot. <laughs> well, I've never actually used slip before as a decorative feature. I've only used slip really as glue molding two things together. So I uh, really kind of had me think differently than I typically do about decoration. So I wanted it to be a feature that you saw, but I didn't necessarily want it to be the prominent feature. Um, so I guess my approach was more to make it a background color in a way that also enhanced the natural clay color. I didn't want to completely cover up the nice dark brown clay. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <gasps> okay. Three minutes. I did it. I decorated all five bowls. 
Now that the bowls are trimmed, they're ready for their first bisque firing in the kiln. I'll put them in the kiln and fire them to cone 04, which is about 1,930 degrees Fahrenheit or 1,054 degrees Celsius, if I did my math correct. So transforming my pots from clay into ceramic, they will then be ready for glazing. No cracks, no cracks. Nice. No cracks. All right. Cool. We got my five bowls. No cracks. For the final part of the challenge, I will have two hours to glaze my work. I will be using an underglaze for decoration and a clear glaze to give it that nice glossy finish. I have two hours on the clock for glazing and adding clear glaze. On your mark, get set, go. So the first part of this process, I am going to wax the bottom of my bowl. And with my design, I'm going to do each bowl its own separate color. So this color is a marine blue. Now I am notorious for being incredibly slow when I'm glazing. So this is gonna be crazy if I could get this done in two hours. The ticking of that clock is stressing me out. <laughs> I just like don't want to see it. <laughs> okay. With the decoration phase, I used underglazes. And with underglaze, you typically get a brighter color that's stable. And so I thought it would be really a fun thing to make a spiral pattern on the inside to kind of give the clay movement, almost mimicking what you feel and see when you're throwing it on the wheel. I have one hour left. And this is where some cute announcer says, you're halfway through. <laughs> but you're just stuck with me, sorry. <laughs> and so you, you know, when you get the finished product, you almost get that sense of motion. And that's really what I wanted is to get the natural flow of the slip with the underglaze and that sense of motion. Stressing out, I'm running out of time. Okay, I've got 19 minutes and 53, 52 seconds. Ooh! I'm done with 13 minutes to go. Woo, 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 woo. 13 minutes to go. The final glaze firing will be to cone six, which is approximately 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit or 1,200 degrees Celsius. Wow. Interesting. That's the big bowl. The glaze pattern looks really cool. That's awesome. There they are. For my first assignment, I was taking on the challenge of making five stackable bowls. Did I complete the challenge? Yes, I did make five stackable bowls. Are they perfect bowls? No. <laughs> they are a little bit wibbly wobbly. Um, my glaze did not come out completely perfect. I did get some crystallized bubbles with the clear glaze, but that's a problem that I've had with the clear glaze. And as far as the underglaze and the pattern, I'm actually really happy with how they turned out. I do love how the natural color of the clay 
is still a real highlight of the bowls. So I'm very happy with how that turned out. Are they good enough to make Keith cry? I don't know about that. <laughs> I almost cried a little bit when I saw the little crystal bubbles on them. That was a little sad, but were they bad enough for me to be the first potter to be sent home? comparing it to other potters in the challenge? Were they good enough for me to be top potter? I don't know about that either. <laughs> Why don't you let me know what you think in the comments? Um, but please be gentle. <laughs> Thank you for watching my little show. Please be sure to subscribe so that you could catch the next episode. Also, stop by my website, hardshellslimysnail.com to see what goodies I have for sale. And if you happen to have $2 to spare, please stop by my Patreon page and become a part of the Hard Shell Slimy Snail Club. And you might win some free stuff. All the links are listed below. Bye.